Previously on Rob and Sherry, they take the family out for a boating adventure and then visit the famous Antelope Slot Canyons in Page, Arizona. On this episode, we get a glimpse at high-performance boats on a poker run on Lake Powell. Cinder finally gets her shot at jumping off the boat. Rob fires up the air conditioning unit on the boat for the first time. And Rob and Sherry learn how to pump out the septic tank. Hey, thanks for joining us. I'm Rob and there's Sherry. Hi. And this weekend, we have a three-day weekend where we made it up. So we're leaving on a Thursday night. And we're heading out to the boat again. So we got a couple projects. One is we got to get the air cooling system, uh, yeah, the cooling system or water cooled cooling system in the boat to work. And so I'll show you how we do that. Then we might attempt some fishing. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. And then uh, we pick the boat out and just uh, group up a little bit. And this time it's just me and Sherry. So it'll be kind of kind of fun. And uh, well, it will be fun. Yeah. So anyway, join us and we're on our way and I'm not going to show you the road trip up there. We're going to go straight to our activities. So, talk to you later. Bye. Bye. So over at the marina, I thought I'd show you there's some high performance boats. They're doing a poker run this, uh, this weekend. So I'm going to try to get some pictures of it. So let's see what I get. Turns out this is not the day for peace and quiet because this weekend is a high performance poker run. And there was some really cool boats to see all day long. We race, but we, we, we like to go fast, so. Well, <laughs> that's what you do with these kind of boats. So what do <laughs> these guys of... typically get up to in speed? Well, this is around 180. This one's 120. Holy moly. This one's my favorite color. So. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Awesome yes, it, it does. does. How come our boat's not that clean? <laughs> they call the Lake Powell Challenge. I'll try to get more information for you, but people are really nice and friendly, and we'll try to talk to more of them. They're doing, a, a lot of them are donating their prizes to charity, so it's really cool. The whole thing is charity. It's whole, a charity event. Well, the whole thing is charity. Yep. So yeah, cool. Anyway, fun, fun weekend at Lake Powell. Later when we got on in a boat, we tried to capture these boats on the water, and I've discovered trying to take pictures of a high-performance boat in a moving boat is not easy. This was the best I could do, sorry. These boats were moving and they were a sight to see, but they were sure hard to film. So after we got a tour of the high-performance boats on the docks, Sherry and I had to go to town. And the way you uh, leave this place is they take you out on carts. And in, uh, in the previous video, I told you for a buck, you can give them a tip and you're toted off from one end to the other. You can see it can be a long ways from your boat to where your car is. So this is what it looks like going for a ride on the little golf carts to your car or vice versa, coming from your car back to your boat. A brown truck with the canopy and the RV travel buddy in the back. There you go. All right. One of the projects we're doing today is I told you we're going to do uh, try to get our cooling system to work on the boat. So the way that works is it has a through haul valve that I got to find and open up. Then I've got to plug uh, in an extra 50 amp plug and then we're going to just try to turn it on and see if it works. If it doesn't work and the motor's running it means that it needs to be primed. In order to prime that, we have to take a hose and shove it up the output on the hull of the boat, which I'm not sure which one it is yet, and pump water up in there and try to uh, prime the pump. So that's what we're working on 
right now and then we got some other projects going on too so here we go so i'm in the boat and in the v-berth and yes i got my hat off it's hot in here is the actual pump so it's probably a little dark for you to see but what i got to do is find the input and the output of uh the hoses of there so i can i know where the water is coming from and where it goes out to and uh we'll see if this thing works so how this works is it's a it pulls uh cold water from the from wherever you're at ocean or lake puts it through some coils and blows air through it and that's what cools down your your boat and you'll see these in sailboats too so we just got to find out if ours works all right for our first step we got to open up the through hole so we have water going into the pump so that's down here so i turned it on already and you can see the through hole right there and uh that's also the sump pump that uh if you take a shower in here uh, as the water drains out of the shower it goes into the sump pump and pumps out so now we got the through hole open next step is uh, to plug in the 50 amp plug to power it up and we're just going to turn it on and see if it just comes on if it doesn't it needs primed so cross our fingers we have a normal 50 amp plug going into the boat but we actually have two plugs for a 50 amp and so we have a splitter and so uh what i'll do is just put this adapter on fire up both 50 amp plugs and then we'll be ready to go turned on the uh, circuit breaker right here for the air conditioning and uh, the controls are over here where we control everything you lift this up and it is running but like we suspected we're not getting uh, water through so you can see in the back there where that hose goes to the outside of the hull that's a through hull so what I need to do now is get a hose and shove water into that thing we got to shut it off and try to get it to prime and see if we can get water to start going so that's our next task because we're not getting water through so one step at a time but we're getting closer so we found out we turn off we actually found a wrong through hole the one we had to get is way way down in the engine i'm pointing to it with this thing here right down there and what that through hall goes to is a water strainer and uh, also is where it pulls water for our air conditioning so uh, if you haven't seen our engines before we have two Merc cruisers in here 4.3s Shuri was nice enough to crawl down there because I'm <laughs> I'm a little chunkier than her so anyway we got it so we're gonna put all this back together try to reprime see if this thing works so <laughs> This has been more of a challenge than we expected. But yeah, moving on. Cool, success. So what we're gonna do now, we moved the boat over to the side so we could get to the hole. And we're just gonna shove it back over. And uh, we now have an air conditioned boat. Woohoo! Looking forward to working. Get the boat back over. Sure he's tying us down conditioner you can see is working good and that's what helps cool down the boat okay so we got that thing working and uh <laughs> go down here real quick it's running pretty quiet I'm happy with that no leaks now the question is is it actually blowing out some cool air we'll find out did do a little air check here there's one of the outputs here nice and cool and we got one in the back cabin it's blowing cool air very happy that's gonna make such a big difference and yeah the whole place is tore up but it was worth it alrighty that means that all the systems are working 100 percent 
Yay! So I was just walking down the dock a lot to see all these house boats. This place is, uh, and bigger boats too. A little bit of everything. But tomorrow should be interesting because that's when they have that poker run for those performance boats. So hopefully when we're out in the water we can see them. Because they can get up to 180 miles per hour. And this is our area here. Yeah, it's pretty quiet around here. Well, we're spent. After we got that thing all put together, dive around, it was kind of warm today. It's about 80 almost. It's over 80. Over 80 today. So, uh, <laughs> just hit over 80 degrees on the radio. So, we're just going to be lazy the rest of the day. So, that. So, we're chilling. Anyway, we'll talk to you later. We got more projects later, but when we get around to it. Hi right, guys, today is Saturday and uh it's almost noon and uh we're going to uh attempt to empty our septic tank which uh we've never done that before we have to go around the marina to a whole special place where you put a pump into your tank and they suck it out and uh then we're going to go find a little place a little cove or something to go hide in and play Maybe fish, maybe swim, let cinder get on the water. We don't know. Have some lunch. Try to get some pictures of some of those high performance boats running around here. Anyway, so that's what's going on today. Okay guys, we forgot to bring ropes with us to tie off at the dock. We left them on our dock, so we're not gonna do the septic tank right away. So we're just going for a little ride. Let's just see what we see. We're just traveling along. A lot of high performance boats out here. We're hoping to get any pictures. We have another camera that can capture some of them. So hang tight. There's some really cool boats out here. And uh, things look like behind us. And it's a beautiful day out here. And Cinder is hiding in the cabin. So I'll show you more as we go. So we're coming into a cove. And uh, you can see what some of the houseboats do here land right on the beach and that's real pretty out here and we're gonna go find a place to anchor and then go play alrighty well we got ourselves a place we're close to shore I'm kind of being risque so what I do is I got a secondary uh, anchor that I have off the back so I got one uh, big one in the front little guy holding off to the side to keep us from going into shore and I bet you we're in about 10 feet of water so anyway uh, nice and close so Cinder can get brave and jump off the boat if she wants to and uh, we'll kind of keep an eye on for it for a minute and then we'll see what we're gonna do here so we disconnected our dinghy so it's floating free it's tied on now we're gonna see how brave our dogs are gonna get so she'll go in the water um, sure he's gonna go swim in in a minute and I bet your cinder goes in the water she's checking it out you think baby dog you're getting awfully brave there baby dog careful well she's drinking the water but was she swimming the water the cold <laughs> well of course for, for, uh... so show me your new shoes so you got wading shoes now so the rocks don't bother your feet on shore right yeah. yeah. I got some too. Go ahead, Cinder. You can go see Mom. Hi, Cinder. That's a happy dog. Woohoo! Here, baby, come over here. So we moved the boat to a new spot just for the heck of it. And, uh, it's kind of pretty out here. There's a couple of boats behind us. We're in the same cove. Right a little farther away from shore, 
I kept kind of slipping on that other one, but still pretty day. And Cinder's got her uh, sea legs just fine now. So, oh, that's what's going on. And if you want to see over the deck here, you can see her right a little spit here. And I was kind of waiting. I want to make sure our anchors hold. It's a little bit of a breeze, so. Cinder, what you got? Look at your nice life preserver. You're all yellow. You're now a yellow lab. So that evening, we got back to the docks and Sherry decided to feed the ducks. But we got a little bit of a surprise. She started feeding the fish. Here they come. <laughs> Good morning guys. Today is Sunday and we got to go home today but not before we give the boat an enema. <laughs> so we had to get something in order to do to flush our tanks is this guy. It's a little nipple thing that goes into our, our side of the tank so we can attach a hose to it to suck uh, you know what out of the tank. So guess what we get to do this morning and we're bringing you with us. Woohoo! Woohoo! So we got uh, the engines fired up. Sherry's getting ready to untie us and we're going over to the uh, around the marina to uh, the pump out station and we'll show you how we do it. So this is the pump out station and that's the device we're going to use and we're going to connect it to a uh, outlet over here so we'll see. Alrighty guys <laughs> here I am this is where we're pumping out so it's going to get noisy so we're not going to show the process but what happens is we connect it to that and there's a big vacuum over there and then Sherry's going to turn that on we'll suck the stuff out. <laughs> well, the other thing you do is once you pull the tank, we rinse it out with this thing, we in inject it with water, and do it again. Well, we got everything pumped out, no problems, busy place, and uh, we're gonna wrap it up today and uh, put everything away and head home. And so, we wanted to thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like our videos, and most of all, share our videos. So, we ask everybody out there to be safe and uh. Keep an eye out for our RV videos. We got some good ones coming out too. And lots of adventures here too. We didn't get a chance to go fishing. Sorry about that. But uh, next time. <laughs> so busy weekend. So talk to you later. Bye. Say bye, Sherry. Bye. It's hot. Thank you for watching our videos. Please take the time to subscribe and consider being a Patreon supporter. There is many more adventures and some big surprises coming in the future with your help. Thanks again.